Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm out here about to start my grounding session so that I can sync up, get in tune, you know, start the day. And yeah, I'm excited to just lay on this fluffy grass. And after I finish grounding, I'm gonna eat my breakfast of a pound of grass-fed ground beef. So I just finished my meal of a pound of raw grass-fed ground beef. It was delicious, hydrating, never gets old. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm still pretty hungry, but I'm trying to practice spacing out my meals. So my next meal will probably be right before I go to practice. In the meantime, I'm going to just enjoy my time out here. to pre-game my session with organic pasture-raised eggs. I love pre-gaming with eggs because they absorb very quickly, very nutrient dense, and just overall a very easily digestible food to eat. So here are the 12 eggs. All right, I actually didn't expect to finish all 12. I thought I was only gonna eat like eight or 10, but it's one of those days, you know? So 12 eggs finished, and now I'm going to go to practice. So I just finished my practice for today and something that I'm working on in my own practice is I'm trying to be less judgmental of myself. I find myself labeling my practice sessions as like good or bad. Like I have a habit of saying, oh, that was a good session. That was a bad session. Like I could have done better, but I'm trying to shift my mindset from that to I showed up today. I'm trying to shift my mindset to I'm so grateful I get to practice. Like, what a beautiful life. I get to move my body. I get to do what I love. And that's an awesome thing. 
Think about the craft in your life, right? What is it that you love to do? Your craft, the thing you're passionate about? Have you labeled yourself as good or bad, right? Um, instead of judging yourself, just think of it as like, wow, I get to do this thing that I love. What a beautiful life. Like, that's so awesome that I get to do this thing. And in turn, it shifts the mindset from like a good slash bad practice to every practice is a good practice because you get to practice. I think letting go of perfectionism will benefit us in the long run. So yeah, enjoy your craft and know that it's a beautiful life when you get to do what you love to do. So something that brings me pure euphoria is raw milk. Raw milk is euphoria. It's a complete nourishment potion. Now it's a common misconception to believe that the bacteria that's in raw milk is harmful to the human body, but I like to believe that it's good for us. And now throughout my journey, I'm still experimenting with what truly hydrates me. And by that, I mean, I've experimented with, you know, drinking spring water to different salt water routines. And I've tried the whole fruit juice and vegetable juice thing, but I haven't quite found anything that hydrates me as much as raw milk. Now, don't get me wrong, all of these other hydration methods are all positive in my experience. For example, when I drink spring water, it's very purifying, you know? And when I drink salt water, it feels very cleansing almost. Um, vegetable juices, I feel like are detoxifying and fruit juices are, they give me like an energy rush, but also an energy crash. <laughs> but when it comes to raw milk, it's like perfection in all forms. Seriously, it's like a total transcendence. And for me, raw milk is the most hydrating thing that I've found so far on my journey. And so yeah, I am super, super thankful for raw milk. And typically a gallon of raw milk will last me anywhere between two to three days. So for the past two days, I've been just sipping on this gallon of milk and I'll probably finish this by the end of tonight. And that concludes our vlog for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.